Hello yogis, namaste. Uh, today we're going to be doing a 60 minute dynamic flow. It's a little bit more on the intermediate scale of things. So if you need your props, your blocks, or your straps or anything, just have them close by. And we're going to start today's class in a wide-legged child's pose. So open up your knees to the side. Have your big toes to touch behind you. Now you want to make sure your hips are all the way back towards your heels as you inch your fingers forward. And slowly start to relax here. You can ground your palms and then maybe bring your forehead down towards the mat. Now if it doesn't reach all the way down, feel free to grab a block and maybe rest your forehead onto the block instead. Now there's two things happening here in your wide-legged child's pose. Your fingers are crawling forward, that's opening up your shoulders. At the same time, you're moving the hips back towards the heels. So there's a nice length along the whole back line of the body here. Start to get comfortable. We're going to be staying here for just five deep breaths, feeling close to your mat, close to the earth. And just take a moment to get grounded before we start to flow today. Now pay attention to your breaths. In-breaths are through the nose. Your exhales are also through the nose. Allow the breaths to be smooth. Allow the breaths to be calm today. And just four more deep breaths here. If you're the kind of yogi who sets an intention for your class, I welcome you to set an intention for your practice today. It's going to be a fast-moving class. So maybe something to do with building strength, having courage, or maybe just allowing the body to explore today, having no judgment onto your practice and just letting the practice be, letting the practice guide you along the journey as you flow. Just three more deep breaths here. And two more slow breaths. And we take just one more breath here. Slow down this last one if you can. And now very slowly from here, lift the head away from the mat, blink your eyes open, look forward. Now from here, you're going to lift the hips up, bringing your hips to stack above your knees. Close your knees to hip width distance apart, so you're kind of like in your all fours tabletop position here. Spread out your fingers, keep your toes curled under, we're going to move into a puppy stretch from here. Extend your hands to the corners of your mat, so you want to reach the fingertips all the way out to the left and all the way out to the right. Keep your hips stacked above your knees here. Now think of melting your chest down towards the mat, followed by the chin. You can slowly inch your fingers forward a little bit more if you need more space. And now relax here. It's okay if your chest doesn't go all the way down. You're just feeling that arch through the back. Now if your chest doesn't touch all the way down, bring your forehead down towards the mat instead. So don't stress. You should be feeling this into your shoulders, opening up here before we start to move. And stay just for a couple breaths. If you're feeling tension, you're going to send your breaths to the spaces that are feeling stiff. Just three deep breaths. Breath of two, slow down here. And we take one more deep breath. Now from here, press down firmly into your palms. You're going to lift the head up. Walk your hands back. Now this time you're going to go all the way back into your squat malasana. If you can, ground the heels down. If not, your heels are lifted off the mat, that's okay. But you're going to keep your spine tall. Bring your hands to your heart. Your elbows on the inside of the knees here. And just take a moment, three deep breaths. Actively pressing the knees open here. So we're working onto that inner thighs. Breath of one. Breath of two. Close your eyes if it feels good. And we take one more deep breath here. Now blinking your eyes open if you've got them closed. We're going to release right fingertips down. So your elbow's still on the inside of the knee. Reach your left hand up. Open and twist. Maybe your gaze can follow your left fingers. Let's just take one breath here. Inhale. Exhale. You can stay here or maybe let's try a half bind. The top hand. I'm going to turn the left thumb face down. And then slowly bring the hand towards the lower back. 
reaching for your inner right waist. Open up here through the shoulder. Just one breath, inhale. Exhale, now keep it half bind. You're going to look down towards your right fingers. Now, if full bind is in your option, go ahead. If not, grab a towel here to help extend your arms. Reach the right hand forward, turn the thumb face down, and then slowly wrap the hand around the knee, maybe meeting the left fingers behind you. If you're binding, use that to open up through the left shoulder. So the right hand pulling onto the left fingers to open up the shoulder. If not a towel or a strap is between the hands here, just to elongate your, the length of your hands. Give it one more breath, inhale. Exhale, very slowly release, come back to your squat, hands to your heart, hands on the inside of your knees, one breath, inhale. Exhale, we're going to slowly switch sides, bring your left fingertips down, press against the left knee here as you twist to the right, right hand reaches up, maybe the gaze can follow here, so your chest is really open towards the right, take a full breath, inhale, exhale. Now we're going to go for the half bind. Top hand, turn the thumb face down. Find the hand wrapping around the back, reaching for the inner left waist. Open up through that right shoulder, taking one breath here. Inhale. Exhale. Keep the half bind, start to look down. So now we're going to extend the left hand forward. Turn the thumb face down and slowly wrap the hand around the knee. Maybe meeting your right fingers if you're binding here. Open up your shoulder so you're pulling onto the right fingers to open up the right shoulder. If you need your strap or towel, grab it. Use that to extend your bind and let's stay here. Chest is still open to the right for three. Staying for two. Stay for one, very slowly release. Now this time come back to your squat by reach your hands forward. You're going to lift the hips up into a halfway position. So you're sending the butt towards the back. Try and find that parallel line of your back towards the mat, okay? So in a halfway position here, flat back, let's stay for three. Staying for two, relax your shoulders. Stay for one. Bring your hands to your lower back, interlace the fingers. Now inhale to pull the hands back, open up the chest slightly. Exhale, we're going to fold here a little bit wider than hip width apart. You can keep the knees bent. Or work towards straightening the legs here as you bring the hands overhead. Relax your head, relax your neck. Let's give it three slow breaths. Breath of one. Feel free to bend the knees if you need to. Let's take breath of two. Let's do one more deep breath here. Now very slowly, find a halfway lift. Inhale. Exhale, release your fingertips onto the mat. Let's take a full forward fold. Again, keeping the knees bent if you need to. Or straighten out completely. Let's stay for three. Staying for two. Stay for one. Next, inhale, look forward. Exhale, crawl forward. Come into your first downward facing dog. Adjust your palms, adjust your feet. Now press down firmly into your hands here. Spread out the fingers. And let's find movement in your first down dog. Giving yourselves three breaths here. Pedal out the legs, bending one knee at a time. Two more deep breaths. Activating ujjayi if it's in your practice, allowing it to heat up the body from within. One more deep breath. Now when you're ready, let's come to stillness in your down dog first. You can keep your knees bent if you need to, if that helps you find a flat back position here. But if you can, straighten out the legs, go ahead. Maybe grounding the heels down, but allowing the breaths to deepen into the pose, giving it two more deep breaths. Breath of one. Breath of two. Now from here, gazing forward, walk your way to the top of your mat, taking small steps here, no rush. Feet are going to end up between the hands. Let's take a halfway lift. Inhale, finding a flat back. Exhale, forward fold. One more time. Inhale. Exhale to fold. Soften out the knees. Take your time to roll up to stand. Bring your hands up overhead. Inhale. Hands to your heart. Exhale. Inhale, reach your hands up high. Exhale, let's take a forward fold. Halfway lift. Inhale. Exhale, plank pose, one leg at a time, step back, staying in your plank, inhale, exhale, chaturanga down, you can lower the knees, 
cobra or upward facing dog inhale come back into your downward facing dog exhale give yourselves three deep breaths here always pressing the knuckles down firmly into the mat as you draw the shoulders away from the ears breath of two and take one more deep breath Now in your downward facing dog, and just space out between your legs a little wider, so a little wider than hip width apart, and maybe turn the toes outward slightly, so it's almost creating a V shape here. Have a small bend in your knees, walk your hands backwards. We're going to come back into that mini goddess pose we did earlier, reach the hands towards the front, finding a flat back here, strong legs stay for three, staying for two, sending the hips to the back, stay for one. Now from here, you're gonna get onto your tippy toes. So heels come off the mat, stay in a halfway position, firing up the glutes for three, for two, for one on your exhale, take a forward fold. From here, look forward, crawl your way forward into a high plank. So adjust shoulders above the wrists. One breath in high plank, inhale, exhale. Coming into a side plank from here, we're going to shift the weight over to the right side of the body. You can either bring the left foot to the middle, easy option. Option two, stacking. So find your option. Left hand reaches up high to the ceiling. Let's stay for three, for two, for one. Look down, left palm down, let's switch sides. So now we're turning over to the right. Find your option for your leg. So right foot can come to the middle if you need to, for three, for two, for one, look down, plank pose. Take an inhale, exhale, chaturanga. Cobra upward facing, inhale. Back into your downward facing, exhale. Let's take three deep breaths here. Breath of one. Breath of two, keep the neck long. Let's take one more deep breath. On your inhale, look forward, step your right leg forward. Exhale, left leg forward. Halfway lift, inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. One more time, inhale, exhale, take your fold. Soften the knees, let's come up. Bring your hands up, inhale, hands to your heart, exhale. Second set, inhale, reach your hands up. Exhale, let's take it down, forward fold. Halfway, inhale. Go into your plank, exhale, step back. Inhale in plank, exhale, chaturanga, you can always bring your knees down. Cobra or upward facing, inhale. Find your way back, downward facing dog, exhale. Three deep breaths here. Breath of one. Breath of two. One more deep breath, use your ujjayi if it's in your practice. Now look back towards your feet again, let's widen. So bring it maybe bigger than hip width apart. So as you turn your toes out, we're gonna walk backwards into that mini goddess again. Bend the knees when you're ready. Hands reach forward, halfway position. Keep your heels grounded this time. Let's stay for three. Sending the hips to the back for two. For one, now keep the legs exactly where they are. Bring your hands on top of your thighs. We're gonna take a twist, dropping your right shoulder down as you look over to the left. Stay here, one breath, inhale. Exhale, make your way back to center. Inhale, changing sides. Now left shoulder down, twist to the right. Taking one breath, inhale. Exhale, come back to center. Inhale, forward fold. Exhale, turn your toes to face forward. Take your fold. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, downward facing dog. Hands crawl forward. Adjust your hands, adjust your feet. Staying here for one full breath. Inhale. Exhale, when you're ready, let's round forward high plank. Stay here, one full breath, inhale. Exhale, side plank, turning to the left again. So either bring your left toes to the middle or stacking, your choice. Let's stay for three, for two, for one. Now something different, look down. You're gonna bring your left forearm down to the mat. Turn to the right, forearm side plank. Right hand up to the ceiling for three, for two, for one, look down, bring the right forearm down, forearm plank. Adjust the hips, make sure they're in line with your shoulders. Press down firmly, stay for three, for two, 
for one one palm at a time come back up high plank inhale here chaturanga exhale cobra upward facing inhale downward facing dog exhale catch your breath here breath of one breath of two slow down the breaths let's take one more deep breath look forward inhale this time left foot steps forward first exhale right foot to follow come to the top halfway lift inhale exhale fold one more time inhale exhale forward fold soften everything rolling up to stand hands up inhale hands to your heart exhale one more set inhale hands up exhale take it down forward fold halfway lift inhale go into your plank exhale stay in your plank inhale chaturanga lower down exhale cobra upward facing inhale downward facing dog exhale give yourselves three breaths breath of one breath of two let's take one more deep breath now looking back towards your feet again widen the distance when you're ready walk the hands backwards let's come back into that half goddess here reach the hands forward send the hips back so your back is kind of parallel to the mat here let's stay for three staying for two for one now from here release fingertips down keep your knees bent we're gonna work on a bound forward fold from here starting with the right shoulder so inch your right shoulder underneath the right knee take your time here as far back as you can now when you're ready reach your right hand towards a lower back okay so this is a half bound version if you're gonna go for the full bind you can use your towel or your strap if you need to left hand up left hand reaches back maybe binding the right fingers and then slowly open up the chest towards the left option here to straighten out the legs if your hamstrings allow okay that brings the chest really close to the thighs pick your option you can look down if you're feeling dizzy here let's stay for three staying for two stay for one those who've got the legs straight bending back into the knees release the bind release your fingertips down let's take one forward full straighten out the legs one full breath here inhale exhale re-bend the knees let's change sides this time left shoulder under the left knee take your time here use your hands to press against the back of your shin and then slowly bring the left hand towards the lower back stay in your half bind or maybe right hand reaches back binding the left fingers or use your towel use your strap option to stay here with the knees bent option to straighten up turn the chest towards the right staying for three staying for two staying for one look down re-bend the knees release the bind fingertips down take a forward full one full breath here inhale exhale look forward inhale downward facing dog exhale catch a one breath here inhale exhale when you're ready round forward take high plank stay for a full breath inhale exhale coming into side plank facing the right side so shift the weight to the left find your option again right toes to the middle or stacking staying for three press down into the left palm for two for one look down right forearm is going to come down turning into your forearm side plank facing the left side left hand reaches high for three for two for one look down left forearm down forearm plank adjust the hips make sure you're not sagging the hips or not any higher than the shoulders for three staying for two stay for one one palm at a time come back up high plank take your inhale chaturanga exhale cobra upward facing inhale downward facing dog exhale slow down the breaths here breath of one breath of two 
Let's take one more deep breath. Now from here, look forward. You can either step forward like we did before or start to bend the knees, take an inhale. Maybe take a light hop to the top of the mat. Halfway lift to wherever you are, inhale. Exhale, forward fold. One more time, inhale. Exhale, fold. Now from here, take a halfway lift to bend the knees, cup the fingertips, open up the distance between your feet. Let's allow your upper body to just dangle down. Opposite elbows, grab, relax your head, relax your neck. Let's give it a couple breaths here. Maybe you want to sway the body, rest. Lengthen out your lower back, giving yourselves two more deep breaths. And let's do one more breath here. Now when you're ready, come back to center, release your hands down. Let's roll up, coming up to stand. Bring your hands up, inhale, hands to your heart, exhale, close your eyes for a moment. You can heel toe your feet back in. Take a moment here, if you need a break, go ahead. Wipe down your sweat, have some water, otherwise stay in your Tadasana, hands to heart. Let's give it three deep breaths. Breath of one. Breath of two. And let's do one more deep breath here. If you've got your eyes closed, start to blink your eyes open and let's move on to the next flow. Bring your big toes to touch, maybe a slight space between your heels. Send your hands up high, inhale. Exhale, take it down, forward fold. Halfway lift, inhale. Let's just step back into down dog from here. Taking three breaths to adjust. Spread your fingers, ground your knuckles. Inch your shoulders away from your ears. Press down actively through the palms, breath of two. Let's take one more deep breath. Now from here, your right leg comes up high. Three-legged dog, inhale. Exhale, step the foot forward between the hands. Release your left knee down. Release the left toes. Take your hands up, crescent moon, anjaneyasana, inhale. Exhale from here, cactus, as you sing the hips low. Let's stay. So your hips are moving forward and down for three. Feeling it into your left hip flexors for two. For one, now keep everything the same, but tuck into your back toes. You're gonna push the hips back. So your right leg comes to straight, right toes flexed. Upper body still in that cactus lift the chest. You're in a halfway half splits. Stay for three. For two. For one, back into your crescent moon. Inhale, re-bend the front knee. Exhale, half splits. We're doing this two more times. Crescent moon, inhale. Exhale, half splits. Once more, inhale. Exhale, half splits. Let's stay here. Three. For two, keep flexing right toes. Stay for one, back into crescent moon. This time, fingertips down, frame your right foot. Pick up the back knee. Standing splits, sending your left leg up high. Now in your standing splits, take an open hip variation. So you're opening up the hip to the left. Reach your toes up to the ceiling. Let's stay for three. For two. For one, now from here, square the hips. So flex your toes down, bend into your standing leg. Your right hand is gonna grab hold of the outer edge of your left foot. So ground your left palm down. Baby grasshopper, kick the leg out to the right as you hover the hips, just inches off the mat. Stay here for three. Staying for two. Stay for one. Now without dropping the hips down, lift slightly through the hips. Can you step that left leg back? Take a simple twist, right hand up to the ceiling. Staying for three. Stay for two. Stay for one, look down, go back to plank, right leg back. Inhale in plank, chaturanga, exhale. Cobra upward facing, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Catch your breath here before we change sides. Breath of one. Breath of two. And take one more deep breath here. Now this time left leg comes up high, inhale, three-legged. Exhale, step it forward. 
Right knee drops down, release the toes. Hands up, crescent moon. Exhale, cactus, sink low. Open up the chest, let's stay here. For three, should be feeling it in your right front of your hips. For two, for one, nothing changes. Tuck into your back toes, come into the halfway half splits. Left leg to straight, left toes flex, keep the chest open. Stay for three, for two, for one. Let's repeat three times, crescent moon, inhale. Exhale, shift back. Two more times, inhale. Exhale. Once more, inhale. Exhale, let's stay here for three. Keep the chest open, keep flexing for two. For one, back into your crescent moon, inhale. Exhale, fingertips down. Pick up your back knee, standing splits. Open up that right hip. So feel free to reach as high as you can through the toes as you fold forehead towards that left shin. Staying here for three. Stay for two. Stay for one. Now for one breath, square the hips so you're flexing the right toes down. Left fingers grab hold of the outer edge of your right foot. Ground your right palm down, that is your base. Coming into your baby grasshopper, kick the right leg out to the left. Let's stay here. If you can, maybe lower the upper body down for three. Staying for two. Stay for one. The hips are still hovering off the mat. Let's lift slightly. Step your right leg all the way back. Simple twist. Left hand up. Stay for three. For two. For one. Bring the left palm down. Plank. Left leg back. Inhale. Chaturanga, exhale. Cobra up dog, inhale. Downward facing, exhale. Three deep breaths here. Breath of one. And take breath of two. One more deep breath. From here, look forward. Yogi's choice, you can walk, step, or bend the knees. Take a light hop to the top of your mat. Halfway, inhale. Exhale to fold. One more time, inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Soften everything, come up to stand. Bring your hands up, inhale. Hands to your heart, exhale, close your eyes. Take a moment here. You'll notice there's no child's pose today. You're standing and resting here. After every flow, breath of one. Breath of two. Let's take one more breath. Okay, when you're ready, blink your eyes open. Join your knees, your feet in together so there's no space. Coming into chair pose, bend the knees. Hips are going back. Strong legs here. Make sure you can spot your toes where you are. Lower down a little bit more. Let's stay. For three. Staying for two. Stay for one. Join your hands at your heart center. Inhale. Let's twist to the right. Exhale. Left elbow outside of the knee. Press your palms here. Lower your seat. Your knees should still be pointing to the front here. Let's stay for three. Staying for two. Stay for one. Now keep the twist, but look down towards your mat. Start to shift the weight to your right foot. Keep the knees together, but start to point the left foot to the butt. Stay here, flamingo pose. For three, look down for your balance. For two, for one, as slow as you can, step the left leg all the way back. Warrior two, ground your back heel, open up your hands. Stay for three. Stay for two. Stay for one, stay in warrior two. Start to lift the heel of your front foot. Sit a little lower through that right hip. Three, for two. For one, keep the heel lifted, reverse. Right hand up. Three. Staying for two. For one, normal warrior two. Ground the heel down. One breath, inhale. Exhale, straighten out the right leg. Triangle pose. Reach the right fingers forward. Bring the hand down the shin or onto the mat or your block. As you lift left hand up, lean the upper body back for three. Staying for two. 
for one. Now from here, turn your gaze down. We're gonna revolve your triangle. Left hand reaches down. Use a block or maybe cup your fingertips or if you can, full palm down here as you take your right hand up. Twisted triangle for three. Stay for two. For one, looking down, re-bend into that front knee. Lift the back heel off your back in your simple twist. Let's stay here for three. Staying for two. For one, look down, plank pose, right leg back. Inhale in plank, chaturanga, exhale. Cobra up dog, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Slow breaths. Breath of one. Breath of two. Let's do one more deep breath here. Look forward again, your choice. Walk, step or bend the knees, hop to the top. Take a halfway inhale. Exhale, forward fold. One more time, inhale. Exhale, fold. Knees and feet together, chair pose. Keep the knees bent. Sit maybe a little lower this round for three. Staying for two, for one, hands to your heart. Take an inhale, let's twist to the left, exhale. Right elbow outside of the knee, press firmly through the palm. So you wanna bring the hands to the center of your heart if you can. Stay for three, your knees are still forward and together. Staying for two, for one, now gaze down, still in your twist, shift the weight to your left foot. Keep the knees together, right foot points up to the butt for three. For two, for one, slowly send right leg back, warrior two. Open up the hands, sit low into your left leg. For three, for two, look forward towards your left fingers. For one, let's raise left heel up, lower the seat. For three, for two, for one, keep the heel lifted, reverse. Left hand up, right hand down, for three. For two, for one normal warrior two, press the heel down. One breath here, inhale. Exhale, triangle, left leg to straight. Reach the left hand forward, hips back. Left hand comes down. Can bring the hand down to the mat if you can reach without collapsing the chest, right hand up. For three. Staying for two. For one, now from here, we're gonna revolve your triangle, look down. Right palms, fingertips or use the block comes down to the mat. Keep the legs straight if you can here. Left hand up. Stay for three. Stay for two. Stay for one. Now look down, keep the twist. Bend into your front knee, pick up the back heel. Simple twist for three. For two. For one, look down. Let's go back into plank, left leg back. Inhale in your plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Cobra upward facing, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Slow breaths here. Breath of one. Breath of two. And let's take one more deep breath. Look forward. When you're ready, walk, step or hop, top of your mat. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, forward fold. One more time, inhale, exhale, take your fold. Soften the knees, coming up. Bring your hands up, inhale, hands to heart. Take a moment, close your eyes. So catch your breath here. If you need to wipe your sweat, go ahead. Let's stay, breath of one. Breath of two. One more deep breath here. Okay, when you're ready, have your eyes open. Inhale, hands up, knees and feet together, chair pose, exhale. Stay three, send your hips back. Draw the belly in for two. For one, hands to heart, inhale, let's twist to the right again, exhale. Just one breath here, breezing through the flow, inhale. Exhale, look down, shift the weight to your right foot. Bring the left foot to the butt. Keep the knees together, just one breath, inhale. Exhale, when you're ready, send the left leg back, 
Warrior two, open up. Take one breath here, inhale. Exhale, now from here, you're gonna shift the weight to the back. So your right leg comes to straight, right toes flex, left leg bent. Release your right fingers down here underneath the face. We're gonna take a twist. This is like a half skandhasana side lunge. Left hand up to the ceiling. Turn your gaze up. Let's stay here for three. Staying for two. Stay for one. So now we're close to the back of the mat. Turn the body to the back. Frame your left foot. Step back into plank. Left leg back. Stay in plank for three. For two. For one, bring the forearms down, forearm plank. Staying here for three. For two, don't sag the hips. For one, now from here, one legged. So you're gonna hover right foot off the mat, pointing the toes back. Stay for three. For two. For one, maybe bring right knee to right tricep. Send it back, come back to forearm plank, change sides, left foot to hover, point the toes, three. For two, for one, bring the knee to the tricep, send it back, forearm plank, press back up high plank, inhale here, chaturanga, exhale, cobra up dog, inhale, downward facing, exhale, let's take three breaths here, breath of one, breath of two, and take one more deep breath. Now we're still facing the back of the mat. Look between the hands. Your choice, walk, step, or hop to the top of your mat. Between the hands. Halfway, inhale. Exhale, full. One more time, inhale. Exhale, full. Chair pose, glue the knees and the feet together. Come up, here's towards the back. But it's the same flow on the left side here. Staying for three. Staying for two. Stay for one. Bring your hands to your heart. Take an inhale. Exhale, twist to the left. Hook your right elbow. Sit a little lower. Press firm between the hands for three. For two. For one, look down. Now you're going to shift the weight to the left. Point the right foot up. Take just one breath. Inhale. Exhale, step back. Warrior two. Open up. One breath here. Inhale. Exhale, now shift the weight to the right. Left leg to straight, left toes flex, right knee slightly bent. Left fingertips drop down underneath the face, twisting to the right, right hand up. So you're in your twisted skandhasana halfway. For three, for two, for one. Now you're gonna turn back to the front. Frame your right foot, right leg steps back, plank pose. Stay in your plank, inhale. Exhale, come down, forearm plank. Take your time here. Adjust your hips for three. For two. For one, once more, right foot to hover. Point the toes, three. Two. One, bring the knee to the tricep, one breath. And back to forearm plank, changing sides. Left foot to hover, three. Two. One, knee in. Back to your forearm plank, press up high plank. Take your inhale, chaturanga, exhale. Cobra upward facing, inhale. Downward facing dog, exhale. Slow breath, slow it down, breath of one. Breath of two. Let's take one more deep breath here. One quick child's pose, drop the knees down. Relax your hips all the way back to your heels. Relax your forehead down. Let's give it three breaths. Slow down your breaths. No rush here. Breath of one. Breath of two. Let's take one more deep breath. 
Okay, whenever you're ready, let's come back into down dog, finishing off this flow. You should already be facing the top of your mat. Just take two breaths here, breath of one, breath of two. Look forward when you're ready, you're gonna walk, step or hop, top of your mat. Take a halfway lift, inhale, exhale, fold. One more time, inhale, exhale, forward, fold. Soften the knees, let's come up. Bring your hands up, inhale, hands to your heart, exhale. Okay, one last flow here. Bring your hands up, inhale, exhale, fold all the way down. Halfway lift, inhale. Now you have a choice. You can either step back to your plank, into your chaturanga, take your vinyasa, or palms press down. Take a hop back straight into your chaturanga. Cobra upward facing, inhale. Come back to your down dog, exhale, three breaths. Breath of one. Breath of two. And let's take one more deep breath here. Okay, when you're ready, right leg comes up high, three, leg a dog, inhale. This time, scorpion tail, bend the knee, press the foot close to the left side of the hip as you reach the right knee up to the ceiling, three, two, one. You're gonna step the foot outside of the right palm lizard, drop the back knee down. Release the toes, keep the chest open, keep the right knee hugging into the right shoulder. Three, for two, for one. Now from here, right hand press against the right thigh, open up the hip so the big toe side of the foot is going to open up. Maybe twist back, look past your right shoulder, have a small bend in your left elbow. Three, for two. For one, slowly come back to lizard, right palm down, draw the knee back into the shoulder, tuck into your back toes, lift the back knee, ground the back heel down, so your left foot grounding down, fingers crawl to the top left corner of your mat, fall down, this is your variation of humble warrior. Take a moment here, feel the opening through the shoulders as well as the right hip, three, staying for two, stay for one, lift the head, Bring the hands back in, top of the mat. Now from here, pick up your back heel. Lower left elbow down to the mat. It's like a funky uh, lizard pose here. Stay for three, for two, for one. When you're ready, keep the left elbow down if you can. Hop the back foot in until the knee comes to the back of your left tricep, okay? So both sides are gonna draw in. Your right side can lift first, funky crow, when you're ready. Find your lift, maybe big toes together. Three, two, one, release. Take a squat, take a moment, hands to heart. Inhale, exhale, palms down, hop back, chaturanga or step back. Cobra up dog, inhale, downward facing, exhale. Three deep breaths before we change sides. Breath of one, breath of two, and taking one more deep breath here. Okay, left leg comes up high, inhale, open up the hips, scorpion tail, exhale, left knee high up, left foot towards the right side of your hip, three, for two, for one, step the foot outside of the left palm, Lizard pose, back knee down, release the back toes. Keep the chest open, keep the left knee hugging in so you don't want to splay open yet. Let's stay for three, for two, for one. Now this time, left hand, press against the thigh. You can peel open the big toe side of the foot. As you twist, look past the left shoulder. Small bend in your right elbow so don't lock for three, for two, for one, come back to lizard, palm down, close the hip. Pick up your back knee, ground the heel. Fingers to the right corner of your mat. Walk the fingers out, relax the head, relax the neck. Stay here in your humble warrior variation for three. Stay for two. Stay for one. Bring your hands back to the mat. Pick up your back heel. Let's come into that funky lizard. Right elbow comes down this time. 
okay? So stay in your left palm, but your right elbow comes down. Stay for three, for two, for one. Now keep pressing down into your right elbow, left palm. Bring the back knee in. Take your time. You can walk or you can hop. Bringing the knee to connect to the back of your right arm. Take your time here. Naturally, one side will come out first, the left side in this case, and slowly lift. Three, two, one. Squat down, Malasana. You can shake it out if you need to. Otherwise, stay in stillness, hands to heart. One breath, inhale. Exhale, one last vinyasa. Walk a hop back, chaturanga from here. Cobra upward facing. Downward facing, exhale. Last three breaths in down dog. Breath of one. Breath of two. One more deep breath. Child's pose well deserved. Knees down, release the toes, hips back to your heels. Now in this version, you can join the knees together. Maybe bring your hands next to your hips. So hands to the back. Relax the forehead down. Let's stay here. Five deep breaths. Slow down your breaths here. Slow down your heart rate. Just three more breaths. If you need to take a longer rest, go ahead. You can always pause this video and come back in. Last two breaths. Let's do one more deep breath here. Now stay in child's pose. If you've got your hands to the back, bring your hands to the front again. From child's pose, you're gonna round the spine to come up into like a tabletop position. And then from here, cobra. So release the hips down, keep a bend in your elbows. Stay in cobra, one breath, inhale. Exhale, go back to child's pose, push the hips back. Just two more times like that, stay in child's first. Take a breath, inhale. Stay, exhale. Second set, round forward. Come into cobra. Small bend in your elbows. Open the chest. Go back to child's pose. Exhale. Take one full breath here. Inhale. Exhale. One more set, round forward, table. And then cobra, chest open. Go back into your child's. Exhale. Slow and steady movements and stay. Last two breaths here. And take one more deep breath. Now from here, take down dog. We're going to transition to sit from your down dog. Look forward. You're going to cross the ankles, come to sit. So your right foot close to your left wrist. Right ankle behind the left. Okay, slowly lower the seat. Now keep your knees bent, feet on the mat. As you slowly find your way down, so make sure you're in the middle of your mat. No rush here, lie all the way down. And then very slowly bring the knees to your chest, give yourself a big hug. Rock the spine if that feels good to you. Keep the lower back grounded as much as you can. Let's give it two more deep breaths. Let's take one more breath here. Now we're going to end this with one happy baby. So grabbing hold of the outer edges of your feet. Ground the hips down so you don't want to lift the lower back up. Press down as much as you can. Now draw the knees to the sides of the body. So left knee to the left side, right knee to the right side. Flex your feet so they're active. And try and relax here. You can rock the spine if that feels good. Or you can stay static, your choice. Wherever you are, two more deep breaths. Let's do one more breath. Now bring the knees back into your chest. One last hug. You can lift your head, neck, shoulders off the mat, forehead to the knees. 
and slowly release Shavasana, extend your legs out to the corners of your mat. Take up space here, open up your hands as wide as you can, as long as you have the space. Maybe have your palms to face up to the ceiling. Relax your feet, they're just flopping open to the sides. Now start to relax your breath. Let's slow down here. Release all control over your breathing. You come back to a natural breath and stay for just a bit in Shavasana. If you have the time, I urge you to stay a little bit longer in Shavasana, allowing the body to recover, allowing your body to absorb the information from your practice. If you're ready to come out of your practice, and take your time, finding movements, coming back to the body, and then slowly work your way up. No rush here. But if you can stay in Shavasana a little bit more, I encourage you to. Whichever option you're choosing, it is your journey, your practice, and I hope you've had a good one. Namaste, yogis.